What's up everybody, it's Ryan, Southern Card Collector, and welcome back to another 90s box break video. And today we've got 1998 Pinnacle Zenith. So, many of you are probably familiar with this product from back in the day. It was the first ever card inside a card, the original RIP card. And at the time, it was a pretty much crazy gimmick, and most people think it was stupid, and most of us agree. So it's that idea of, can you find what's inside? Are you willing to tear open this oversized, roughly 5x7 card? to find the uh, regular size card. So we're definitely into this for the Z Gold stuff on the parallels. So what I'm gonna do is the first half of this video, I'm gonna um, open the packs. Supposedly the the card that is an insert is in the middle card, that's, that's the theory. So I'm gonna set those to the side and we'll go through the uh, top and bottom cards first. And then we'll go through the middle card. So let's take a look at the box itself. As you see on the front, the dare to tear uh, information and the logo there. You got three cards per pack, 18 cards per box. And then here's the stated information on print run. The odds of finding a chase card is one in four. So we have 18 packs. So do the math there. We're hopefully maybe four or five of those coming out of this. I have not seen a whole lot of this open online on YouTube. So um, maybe this will give some folks a look into the past if you were curious about these and if this was something that may just take you back down memory lane. So let's get into it. So it's got the little crack, like the dare to tear crack down the side, like you're ripping it open. So the the information that I've seen on this is tap the card towards the top, making space at the bottom, so you can kind of slice down the bottom and open the uh, card up. Yeah. Ah, okay, that makes sense. So these are some very large packs. <laughs> Give you an idea what all that looks like there. Ah, so look for it. So we can also pull an epics card so you can kind of get the idea there. Let's get these packs out of the box. So some very large packs as you can see. Alright, let's get into this. See what we got here. So just some information on how to rip these. They say to Hold the 5x7 card upright, tap the bottom edge. So they want you to tap it downward, but I've seen it where people tap it to the top, or at least information was tapped towards the top, and then you can take the box blade and kind of slice on the back side, doing like a little C-section on the back, and try to pull the card out the back. All right. All right. So Jose Guillen is the top card. Middle card's Randy Johnson, so we're going to sit Randy over here to the right. And Abraham Nunez. If any of you guys opened this stuff in the past, let me know. Tell me if you enjoyed it. All right, Frank Thomas. Juan Encarnacion on the back, and the middle card is Roger Clemens. All right, more of this. Todd Hundley on the front. Back card is Derek Lee, and the middle card is Gary Sheffield. So interesting, the cards are like upside down in the pack. All right, there's Griffey on the front. Jason Giambi on the back, and the center card is Gary Sheffield. Wow, look at this. <laughs> I think these are the ones that were supposed to be in the other packs. Dos. <laughs> well, just in case you forget, right? I might be short a card in this one, too. I think I am. Yeah, there's only two cards in this pack. Unless one's sticking. Well. There's only one in that one. Good. Tony Clark on the front. Todd Helton on the back. And in the middle, Chick Liz. Oh, wait. Nope. David Justice. And the checklist. A very large checklist. Bell on the front, Vlad Guerrero on the back. Oh yeah, nice, okay. That is the uh, Impulse, It's a nice one. They make a decision on that one, right? Mike Messina, and this one only has two as well, so I'm not, definitely not happy with that. Well, I mean, you know, it's been 20 years, so 
Who am I going to complain to? You're bankrupt, right? No ma on the front. Jarrett Wright. And Randy Johnson in the middle. So that's two packs with only two cards. Alright, Greggy Maddox on the front. Cal Ripken Jr. on the back. And the center card is Larry Walker. Mark McGuire. Travis Lee. And Barry Bonds. Hanging Chad. Manny Ramirez. Ben Greaves. And an impulse of Jose Guillen. Our move on. Barry Larkin and Edgar Martinez. Kenny Lofton. Homer Bush. Hey, all right. And a PC Javi Lopez. And he's in the middle, so I'm going to have to cut open my little buddy. The Bone, Jay Buhner. Roberto Alomar. And Todd Hundley. Scott Rowland, Tino Martinez, and Sandy Alomar Jr. Brady, I did not take steroids. Anderson, Jeff Abbott, and ah, <laughs> and so the dilemma begins, my friend. Mark McGuire Impulse. All right, last pack. Pudge. Thompson. And another berry in the middle. All right. All right, guys, so there he is. Top bottom cards. And here are the middle cards. Unfortunately, I think we're short a couple cards because a couple of these packs only had two cards in it. So hopefully that's not affecting our uh, our odds of pulling a, an, in, an insert. But well, let me figure out how to get into these and uh, we'll start off with this Justin Thompson. And we'll cut him open and see what we get. All right, so let's start off with this Justin Thompson. I'm kind of filling for where the edge of it is at. Somewhere right here, so let's see if we can do this. Kind of see the pocket, see the card. If we can figure out how far, okay. Boy, it's up in there for sure. Stuck to it or what? It's a Pudge Rodriguez, but I'm not sure. It's actually a parallel. Oh, that is so stuck to the inside of this card. That's not good. It's like glue. Look at that. Is that to keep it from sliding around? What's up with that? Not cool, man. So, I'm gonna make a back flap without tearing it. That worked out okay. So, first card. Drop it around. Yvonne Rodriguez. It's a Hall of Famer. And now we're going to cut into Yvonne Rodriguez. Let's hope that's not the, uh, the trend with this. I'm liking that. Alright, next card is... And it is. There, there is glue literally on the back of every one of these so they don't slide. Chanho Park. But they're releasing clean. So that's alright. Chanho Park. Moises Salou. Let's see what we got. Hall of Famer Jim Tomey. Nice and stuck at the top. Yeah, you can 
can see the adhesive on there, but it, I think it'll come off pretty easy. Yeah, it's kind of rolling off in there. There we go. Tommy. Galarraga. You got inside here. Fernando Tatis Sr. And Greaves, rookie. Riley Bunez, another rookie. I have to be a little more careful with that. That was not good. Be very careful if we come across a gold. All right, here we go. Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, Paul Molitor. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about that. That came off a little cleaner. Polly Molly. All right, who we got here? Rusty Greer. Let's see what we got here. I look clean. It came off pretty clean. If you're cool with it being cut open. All right, here we go. Justin Thompson. Mo Rivero, Hall of Famer, Mo Rivero. I think that pulled some. Yeah, boo. Boo. Cringy. Frank. Big Frank. Oh, come on. This don't make me happy. Clean. I think I can get it out without having to tear it up anymore. It's Randy Johnson on the inside there. Randy came out pretty clean too. So it tends to be along this line here. It's a good cut spot. Who is Scott Rowling going to yield? How about a J. Buner? Tiny J. Buner. Alright. How about a big J. Buner? Big bone, little bone. Ryan McGuire, rookie. Yeah, I had a feeling that was a little bit to the left there. I could tell a little bit. But luckily, we didn't get into it. William Clark. Who we got inside? Kenny. We got a Wong Gun. Wong Gun's awesome. So, so far, we've been working through the uh, front and back cards from the pack, and no parallels yet, so that's holding true so far. Barry Larkin. Inside Barry Larkin, we have Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez base card. Oh, the card's already loose. That's good. Albert Bell. Ray Langford. A little paper loss on Ray. Let's see if we can pull Andy out here. So I guess I could have done this a little differently without having to put as much of a cut in it, but I'm not so worried about these 5x7s from that standpoint. And I'm doing a pretty good job not to cut through. I got pretty close on that one, but. Charles. 
Charles Johnson. Nomo. Let's see if we can get up in there. Mark Grace. Brady Anderson. And I'm going this far. Roger Clemens on Toronto. Mm. Curved in a little bit that time. <laughs> Brian Jordan, the Cardinals. Let's see what we got here. So it's just a base. Bernard Gelke. See, that's the dilemma. The, the tape is way up higher, and so if I pull it loose, it's okay. Neither. So there we go. Z Silver, Larry Walker. Let's see if I can get him. There we go, nice, came up pretty clean. So there you go, first insert, Larry Walker. This was not in a center card. And the back looks pretty clean too, so. Nice. And I didn't cut it in a thousand pieces, so. Good. So, they may not necessarily be in the middle card unless I'm Unless that was like the card that I was short one in the set or in the pack. Retro Hidalgo. Base. Alright, so let's see who's in Greg Maddox. Got a Manny Ramirez. Base. Alright, inside Cal Ripken Jr. we have a Bobby Higginson base card. Alright, inside Mr. McGuire we have Mark McGuire. <laughs> a nesting doll of Mark McGuire's. Mark McGuire, Mark McGuire, Mark McGuire, Mark McGuire. Pretty cool. <laughs> so Frank Thomas, I think, is the last card that wasn't a middle card. And then I have a checklist that I'm not sure where that counts in terms of the cards. How grating is the uh, sound of the box blade going through these cards? It's definitely a gimmick. Okay, here we go. Inside Frank Thomas giant bicep we have Barry Bonds who wasn't even stuck very little adhesive in that one Betty Bones all right guys so I think that's all those I think we're getting into the inside the uh, cards that were I don't even know if there's one in this I don't even think there's one in this yeah yeah maybe there is I don't know it's kind of hard to tell yeah there's a card in here what should be a if there's a checklist inside of this, we're going to burn it after the video. All right, here we go. Inside the checklist is a Jose Guillen. So it was not a checklist, but there was a card in the checklist, so that was kind of cool. All right, so there's all the non-center cards, I believe. So all of these are in the center. So we got the Bonds, uh, Impulse, Jose Guillen Impulse, McGuire Impulse. Yeah, so you can get a picture, so might as well cut into these and be done with it. All right, here we go, Barry. Let's see if we can salvage you as much as possible. Okay. So we got 
Greg Maddox inside Barry Bonds. All right, there we go. We got Anton Williamson. Is that right? Yeah, Williamson. Our second Mark McGuire. First one yielded a Mark McGuire. What if this one had a Sammy Sosa in it? <laughs> I mean, it was 98, right? Can I expect a, a Sosa out of the McGuire? I didn't even check the checklist, but I would assume he's on it. If this is Sammy Sosa, I'm going to laugh so hard. There we go. Inside Mark McGuire is... Homer Bush. <laughs> Not Sammy Sosa. All right, Barry Bonds time. This could be the one box that has the horrible odds. But it's fun. This is fun, though. Trip down memory lane. And this has been fun. Alright, oh, we got a Z silver of Kevin Brown. So Boo, right? <clears throat> Yay, Kevin Brown. <laughs> See that's what they should have done. They should have put another little card inside. They should have done. It'd have been like a double rip card today. That that's what tops the other like, hmm. Pinnacle did like a single rip card. We're gonna do a double rip card, genius. Those sell very well, by the way. I sold a Ripken Machado double rip card, serial number to five, for about 220 bucks. 200 bucks, I think. All right, Mr. Walker. Oh yeah, that's sweet looking. That is a pretty cool looking insert. Rookie Thrills of Juan Encarnacion. That's cool. I don't even know. I, like I said, I forgot to. I did not do my due diligence with the checklist. So I came up with a little bit of residue on it. 2 of 15. You can see the glue right there. But it comes off. It rolls off pretty easy. It's a pretty cool looking card. I'm losing hope on the Z Gold. Unless that's our fourth, right? Say the best for last. Big unit. Just last open some big unit. And inside said big unit. Oh, it's different. Let's look at another insert. No, oh, no, it's just a base. They look kind of weird on the edge with a light in it. Levon El Duque. Is that El Duque, right? Levon Hernandez? I think that was El Duque. Going off of memory. Alright, David Justice. Oh, nice. No ma. No ma. Who gets tired of hearing it said that way? It's no more Garcia Pa. Raising the bar insert. That's good looking. Jason. Let me know. I don't know if you have this one or not. I know you don't have it straight out of somebody's box they opened. Cool. So so far we are seeing everything come out of the center. And I think that one card that had the uh the other Z Gold in it, I think that was probably a middle card, or it was the pack that had one less card in it. What are you holding, Chef? What's inside the Sheffield? Move on, Silver. Jason again. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, Jason. Didn't sound too good. Oh, that's pretty clean. All right, we got silver, we got silver, we got silver. We need gold. I need gold. Hmm. 
Will I, will I buy another box of this if it surfaces? I don't know. I think I'd rather wait for my guy to show up down the road and buy his card. But this was very intriguing. Um, I wanted to kind of see for myself how this went, so. Another box, maybe not. Okay, all right, we got a gold. Oh, we got a gold. <laughs> and I know who it is. And I know a buddy that will want it. And he will probably get it for a very high price. No, I'm kidding. All right, I'm doing my, I'm trying not to destroy this. I'm, I'm, this is Gary that's tearing, so. Oh gosh, this is awesome. All right, you ready, guys? Hall of Famer, Mike Piazza, gold. Look at that. Dang. Okay, I'm going to be extremely careful taking this one out, so bear with me. Oh, it's not, it's not stuck too bad, I don't think. Ugh. Oh, that came off pretty clean. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, one of 100. <laughs> I don't know if that matters to you, but I just think that's so awesome. Oh, that corner's a little, little bit sad. Gum it. I got to get this in something quick. Don't I? Can't tell if that's... Yeah. I don't think that's fuzz. There you go, Mike Piazza Z Gold, number one of 100. That was worth the box. Very much worth the box. Should put it in a one touch. Old crappy one touches I have. Boo. Boo, you crappy one touch. Nah, it's about right. There you go, Z Gold. Mike Piazza. It does have some something going on, on the surface. I didn't try to wipe it. I can't tell if it's just indentions in the card. I don't know why necessarily there would be, but but that is awesome. Card one of one hundred. Ah uh, yeah. All right, Josh. <laughs> Wanted a gold, got a gold. It came out of this Gary Sheffield here. And once again, I had to really make sure I didn't. That one's pretty sticky still. So, two Sheffields back to back there. All right, so we still have several of these left. So maybe maybe there's still some more goodies hiding in here. It's kind of hard to see. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. Z Team Roger Clemens. Dang. Nice card. Blue Jays. Let's see if we can get it out easily here. Roger Clemens, Z Team. Inside the Randy Johnson. All right, Barry Bonds is going to yield Kevin Brown, base. Edgar Martinez, next up on the chopping block. Mm. Flip a little bit there. I think I've got the hang of this now. Behold, inside the Edgar is a Dante Bachet. Not Dante Bachet. Yeah, you can't see those lines too bad. They're kind of faint. Bachet. Hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna cut the Javi Lopez. Being a being a collector of his, I think I'm gonna hold off on that one. That might be one later on I, I cut. Yeah, I cut a Griffey open, but I didn't cut a Javi Lopez open. I know. And the Lopez probably has a card in it. Um, that's possibly an insert. <laughs> that may have been it. We may have got everything, though. That we're going to get out of these. Alright, 
that we got. Oh, another Z Gold Moises Alou. That could have been a Lopez. That would have been nice. I don't have his gold. Or his, his silver. I don't have his gold either. I've yet to see one. I've seen an unnumbered, a non stamped gold. It was on ComC at one time, and a buddy of mine snagged it before I did. I don't blame him, but I think I've snagged several before he did, so. Alright, so we got three cards left. Two, not counting Lopez. Alright. Inside. Sandy Alamara, we have... Oh, God. <laughs> you ready? I don't know who it is. I saw the foot. I'm assuming I think I know who it is. It's Piazza. Nice. The game. Epics. So, sweet. <laughs> I have pulled an Epics card from Score, and now from Pinnacle. Um... Zenith. Came off pretty clean, too. Nice. These are gorgeous cards. Beautiful. Alright, Raj. What you got up in you? Okay, how about an Abraham Nunez? Rookie card. Alright. So, I, I gotta make a decision here. I think I'm not going to open the Lopez just because it's a PC card and because of this. Because I, I just, I don't know if there's another one that will come out. And I may just, on when I get bored one night, just cut it open. We'll see. If I can find another one that's not cut open, let me do it. So. Mm, it's tempting. <laughs> it's tempting. But we got a little bit of everything out of this box, so let's take a look real quick. Our oversized, best thing we had were three impulse cards. Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, and Jose Guillen. And then you had a bunch of base cards. And the way we cut those open, we just kind of found the card, made a flap, removed the card. Here is a recap of our inserts. So we pulled this Z-Team. Let's see if we can get some light on it. This Z-Team. Roger Clemens. I didn't even look at the back of it. Okay, so it's 9 of 18. Juan Encarnacion Rookie Thrills. Insert. And no more Garcia Parra Raising the Bar. Insert. It's really cool. I don't know if you can see it. It says Raising the Bar. Back there. And we were able to pull an Epics. The, the game parallel. Then our Z Silvers. Moises Alou. Mo Vaughn. Kevin Brown. And a Hall of Famer. Larry Walker. And then the best card, obviously, out of the box. And an awesome, awesome hit. Is this Z Gold of Mike Piazza. Hall of Fame Mike Piazza Z Gold. And it's got a little something going on on the surface. I'm going to check it a little closer, but what a beautiful card. And it is numbered 1 of 100, so that's pretty stinking awesome. I love it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Keep an eye out for more box breaks in the future. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video if you don't mind. And remember, if you collect, do it for the love of the hobby. See ya.